Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Welcome to another edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to put slots in tubes for through the wall fins. Now first what you're going to need to do is to print out your fin template. Uh, I did this one in Roxim and if you don't have Roxim go to ApogeeRockets.com and you can download it and try it for 30 days for free. Okay so I've already printed out my fin and I've cut out the fin from a piece of balsa wood and I've already got my tube and I've marked my tube for three fins. Okay so the first thing I need to do is to find the thickness of the fin and I'm going to mark that here on the tube. So I'm just laying the fin along the edge. I want one edge along the fin line. And then I'm going to mark it on the other side. So I've made a little mark right there. Now I'm going to take my fin marking tool, and these are from Estes, Estes Industries, and I'm going to mark it for three fins. So I'm going to put that line that I just made on that mark, put my tube on, and then I'm just going to mark my other fins locations. Okay, so I've got my three marks on the tube, and I'm going to take my aluminum angle, and I'm going to extend those lines up the tube. Now when you do this, always use a pencil. Don't use a pen, because the pen is going to bleed through the ink. Uh, the, the, the pen is going to bleed through the paint on the rocket. So that's why we always use a pencil. Now these aluminum angles you can buy at Home Depot. Uh, they have a section there where they sell uh, screws and nuts and things like that, and that's where the section of the Home Depot that you'll look to buy these. And they come in different sizes. You can see I have I have four different sizes. I got one for a small tube, one for a uh, medium-sized tube, some big tubes, and some really long tubes. And these are going to come in like four or five foot sections, so you're going to need to get a hacksaw and just hack off uh, about about 12 inch section, uh, but keep a long part for for really long tubes. Put that out of the way. Um, our next step is we need to draw lines around the tube, and for that, I uh, have a piece of wood here, and. What I'm going to do is I got double sticky tape on one end of uh, my angle here. I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to stick this on a piece of wood. And I want to put it right on the very edge, right near the corner. So I'm going to put that down there, align it right there, and then I'm going to push it down really hard. Now I've got some of these where I've actually glued them to the wood uh, because I don't want them coming up because if they move around, it makes your tube jumpy, and, and then you don't get a nice straight line. Okay, so I have my line right here, and then we're going to need uh, some sort of clamp. Um, this side just have a little wood clamp. Uh, you can also use a paper clasp. They work pretty good, too. And this one has a nice flat edge on it, which is going to go up against my tube. Uh, but if you don't have one with a flat edge, just take a, a, a block of wood, stick that in there, and then clamp it down like we're going to do here. So the first thing is clamp it down there. Uh, now I need to mark on my tube where the slot is going to be. So I've already got my, my fin made, so I'm going to align my back edge of the fin there, and I can see I'm going to need to start there and end right there. Okay, so then I need to extend that all the way around the tube. So I push this right up against the stop, and then I want to tighten it down really tight because I don't want it to move. I'm going to take my pencil, put it right up against the edge, right up against the edge of the aluminum angle, and then I'm going to just kind of rotate it down. Yep, and if I do it right, it should line up. 
I'm kind of doing this at an angle, so that's why I didn't get a nice straight edge. But let me back that up. All right. That's why it's very important that that does not move at all. Okay, then I'll do the front edge. Okay, so now I have this is the area right in here that I'm going to be removing from the tube. Again, we're going to use the same fixture. Make sure that stays where it is. And now this time I'm only going to poke it in. See, I'm, I'm poking it and I'm, I'm moving my point forward so I can get that one little edge. And then I'm going to go around the tube, find the next one where it starts, poke it in. Okay, so you can see that technique there. And now doing the long edge is done the same way. Let me do the front edge really quick here. Okay, I'm going to move that clamp so you can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to lay the flat edge of the blade on the top of the angle and I'm going to draw it down across the tube. Now you always want to use a very, very sharp hobby knife for this. Paper can really dull a knife, so go ahead and change out the blade before you start this process. Okay, so I've got that slot made. The slot fell out. And now if I did this right, my fin should go right in there real nice. And that's how we make the through the wall fin. That's how we cut the slot. So be sure to visit us at the Apogee Components website at www.apogeerockets.com. We have more videos there. And we also have our video DVDs, which we show everything on how to build a rocket. We start with skill level 1 and skill level 2. And this technique I showed you here is skill level 3. So if you miss skill level 1 and skill level 2, be sure to visit us at Apogee Rockets. So again, our website is www.apogeerockets.com. Thank you.